years, like the fact that you went to rain and then created your own conference a few months later. Yeah. The cojones on you. <laughs> well, that, that's insane. Hey guys, it's been a while since I've shot a vlog, so I figured why not do one? Add some other YouTubers stopped by Project Simpson. So we have the Fruitful Investor, Matt McKeefer, and Jeff Weibel. Hey guys. So we all met, what, maybe four or five months ago at yeah. Rain, Yeah. which is the Real Estate Investment Network. It was uh, at lunchtime, so I was just eating my lunch by myself, like a big nerd. <laughs> and I overheard some other guys talking about YouTube, so I jumped in at their table and now we're here. It's pretty cool how we went from just having that conversation to meeting in, uh, I guess you call it the real world. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> I've been following you guys on social media as well for a while now too. So you're all killing it. Um, I guess the main purpose why I wanted to have this vlog is to talk about how you guys got started in real estate investing and more so why. I know it sounds kind of cliche, but what's your why? Like why do you do it? I think that there's a lot of people out there watching this that probably want to get started in real estate investing, but are scared. And I just want to show them that there's everyday real people who are doing this. So maybe you start. Sure, I'll start. So the reason why I got into real estate was uh, my family was pretty frugal and you know typical middle class family, very tight on money. So I knew I wanted something different uh, from that lifestyle. So how I got into it really was uh, right out of high school, I got into carpentry. I did my apprenticeship for carpentry. I started my own business renovating properties strictly for real estate investors. And I realized I can't do this for the rest of my life until I'm 50 years old. There's no way I can do carpentry. And uh, I was really obsessed with HGTV Flip That House, which is how it all really started. And actually why I even became a carpenter was because of that. So there was always like this weird obsession with real estate. And then the more I started uh, reading Don Campbell and Rain and uh, passive income strategies, the more I started uh, thinking about buying real estate as rental properties. So I bought my first couple properties uh, at age 22. And then just kind of started snowballing from there. Uh, every year buy one or two properties. Now we're buying up to three, four, five properties a year. So it's just, it just snowballs really quick once you start getting into them. It's a great avenue. So that's the reason how I got into it. The whole why behind why I do real estate is I want a boring life, chilling in the tropics. You know, I want to move to Costa Rica or Hawaii, which is my obsession. If you watch my channel, you know that I'm super obsessed with that. It's the whole reason why I do real estate. Uh, I want that freedom lifestyle while my business just makes money in the background, boring, passively, which is why I do single family real estate because it's high quality tenants, it's reliable. So that's really the reason why I do real estate. Nice. Awesome. So yeah, my backstory, uh, I was always focused on financial independence, trying to retire early. And so I stumbled upon the idea of rich dad, poor dad when I was in university just like Dwight did as well. And that was definitely the gateway drug to real estate for me. As soon as I understood that you could create passive income and potentially supplement your employment income or completely replace it, I got hooked on that idea. Started investing at the age of 25, kind of buying a property a year. Then when I was 30, I stumbled upon the burn investment strategy. So that's where you buy, renovate, rent, refinance, and repeat. And that just allowed me to really speed up the velocity of my money. And so I kind of went crazy in uh, 2016, bought 25 units, and then 2017 did the same thing, and actually quit my day job at 31. And now I just kind of goof around on YouTube with this guy a lot, and uh, try and document other real estate investors' uh, stories, their perspectives, and their strategies. And so my why was just always about getting out of the nine to five. I, I knew I wasn't meant to be an employee, so. Good for you. Jeff? Yeah, so so guys, in, I joined in the Army in 2001, and I was doing that for a long time, and then 2008, I started picking up Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and just really like opened my mind to like the different strategies that are out there, and, and different than what Canada is kind of teaching you, and it's like interesting about this. And then I did a couple deployments, and I came home, and I bought my first triplex, and, I, and it was, one of the things I was able to do in the triplex was live for free on my very first property. So I lived in the basement, and I what we now refer to as house hacking. I rented out the middle unit and the upper unit to the students, got to live for free, and I thought, this is pretty cool, and I like this kind of stuff. Then I ended up joining Rain and started meeting some great people there, started doing joint ventures, and eventually became a realtor, and, and basically, like that would be my why, like, pretty much living for free and eventually traveling the world, and I was always obsessed with uh, Tim Ferriss's four-hour work week and learning how to make passive income, so I'm like, really big on that right now so like more cash flow that kind of real estate and 
So now as a realtor, I help out a lot of the investors right now. So that's what I've been doing recently. And now we, I do an investment property tour called the Weibull Limo Tour that we've been doing recently in the last two years and doing a lot of speaking engagements at other uh, Ontario real estate events. And we just put on the Ontario yeah. Real Estate Conference, which was uh, fantastic, which Amazing. literally was yeah. somewhat mostly planned right from the Yeah, day. literally it was because we went to Rain's Acre event, we saw it, it was fantastic. And we thought, why doesn't London, Ontario have this? And no one else was going to do it. So we figured we should just uh, yeah, do like it. Yeah, one of the things Matt and I love to do is just pick dates and we just, okay, we're gonna do a conference in May. And then, okay, if May's coming it's up happens. quick. And we just do it, right? So similar to the first limo tour we ever did, we just pick dates and then yeah. all of a sudden it's like, all right, we better deliver. So I kind of really like that. It really forces you to like perform out there and rather than just being in your comfort level every day. So obviously we're not sitting in your comfort level here. <laughs> yeah. You're going big, it's big, so big. easy for investors to get stuck in the analysis paralysis, right? Like we all gain all this information and we get a fundamental understanding, but then to actually take the leap and take action is so scary. But the key is, I think at least for us, we found back yourself into that corner and just make it happen. And, and one of the things like, even on my first property, it's ready, shoot, aim. Just like get close, pull the trigger and do it. You're never gonna be perfect when you're buying uh, real estate. It's always something comes up. So, so many people out there that they're waiting to buy their first property and it's just, just do it, get close, buy it. And sort it out later and the best part is like to have a network who to yeah. call you know uh you know contractors the lawyers mortgage brokers real estate agents just like try to build your team go out to networking events we're big on that in london yeah uh, and we're doing them across southwestern ontario and now we're pretty much talking in north america right now that's yeah. amazing guys thank you so much for sharing your insights uh, in the future, I just want to kind of keep this one short and sweet, but in the future, I'm definitely going to have to dive deep into your stories because there's so many more questions to ask, so much more to learn. But uh, one thing I wanted to share with my community is that I haven't really been posting any videos with this project, but you guys can get a sneak peek. So I actually talked about the notice of project um, with the Fruitful Investor, and then I talked about why we're doing Project Simpson with Matt, so you can head over to his channel and check that out. And then I did a tour of the property with Jeff, so you can head over to his channel and check that out. And guys, honestly, I really appreciate you just coming out and stopping by here, showing love. And uh, it's always awesome to collaborate with like-minded people like yourselves. And uh, you are action takers. Like the fact that you went to Rain and then yeah. created your own conference a few months later, yeah. The cojones on you. <laughs> well, that, that's insane. And I commend you for doing that. And uh, I know you guys have big things ahead. And um, I'm sure if you guys have any questions as well, you can reach out, not too find, hard to find on social media, and uh, send them a DM. Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks, Thank guys.